Greetings, survivors and friends. Shadow Franks here, keeping you in the loop on Rust development, and it's that weird time of year again where either nothing happens or something big and hairy jumps into the room that you weren't expecting. Something that perhaps caught a few people with their trousers down this week, though, was the sudden banning of a couple of very naughty mice. No, not those ones. To quote Facepunch from their support site, starting from December the 11th, 2019, all bloody and A4 Tech branded mice are blocked from use in Rust due to increasingly being used to give an unfair combat advantage by counteracting recoil using onboard memory. Resolution? Do not use bloody or A4 Tech branded mice with Rust. Or other popular brands will work without issue. Naturally, this announcement was met with universal praise and everybody just got on with their lives without grumbling. In other news, a solution to world hunger and the complete eradication of all disease were both achieved on the same day this week, and Rust players have suddenly stopped killing each other on sight. Far be it from me to ever use sarcasm in my videos, the truth of the matter is that some people were very happy with this development and other people, mostly owners of said mice, were squeaking their heads off. Now, I must clarify, if you do get a slap on the wrist for having one, that doesn't mean a game ban, just that you won't be able to play Rust with a bloody mouse. Or A4 tech. The solution? Plug in a different one, which might mean shelling out a bit of cash if you can't beg, borrow or steal. I'm not condoning mouse theft, by the way. And this, I think, is the main grumble. You might have to cough up a bit more cash to play your favourite game in the whole wide world. And of course, this is incredibly unfair, because you'd never ever think of using one of these mice for nefarious purposes, would you? Now, I'm not going to assume anything here about your intentions, and if you have one of these mice and feel like you're being unfairly targeted, which ironically is the reason this has happened, then you have my deepest sympathies. Just remember, I'm only the messenger, so please don't shoot me with or without recoil compensation. I guess this is why we can't have nice things. However, if you are looking for a workaround, don't think you can get into a server with a kosher mouse, then swap it out for one of the banned ones and get away with it. I've heard some say this is possible, but EAC checks at regular intervals and you will get a rocket up the arse at some point, probably at a highly inconvenient moment. And that's not to say someone won't get around it, because life, uh, finds a way. But I would like to hear from you in the comments about whether you think this is a good move or not, and what your solution would be otherwise. I hear a lot of complaints about EAC not being effective, and it'll be interesting to see how many complaints there are when it is. Moving on, can you believe Rust is now six years old? It passed the milestone this week and is now officially older than some of its players mentally. I'd like to say well done to the team for bringing it this far and giving us the gift that keeps on both giving us heart palpitations and taking segments of our sanity. Thanks, Face Punch. In other news, there'll be a client and server update next Thursday, December the 19th, to add the usual seasonal content. No word yet on whether there'll be any specific new stuff, but you should find out soon. There was a bug introduced last week which could cause server crashes, but this has since been fixed, along with the plugging of a few more exploits. And I feel like I say this every week, because I do, in works in progress, the team are still hard at work on HDRP and vehicles with, you guessed it, no date on when we'll be seeing either of them yet although I think it's safe to say it won't be in this decade. Over the next week, we may well see some new stuff, but I'd imagine the team will be thinking about winding down for the year, so if there's not much to cover, then I may have to do a different type of video next Friday, but I'll try to do one nonetheless. You can support my work here in many ways. Patreon is a great option and comes with added perks, such as access to a private supporter section of my Discord, but just liking, commenting, and subscribing helps the channel a lot, so please do so if you can. You can watch me stream on Twitch three times a week, plus keep up to date with me on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and my Steam group. Links are all down below. I shall catch you all very soon, of course, but in the meantime, keep calm and stay rusty. Cheerio. Life uh, finds a way.